Ruthani, are you there? Yes, I am, Shaka. I'm sure that uh, you heard uh, uh, reporter or editor David from Nairobi uh, pretty much uh, being critical of your institution. Yeah, th thanks, uh, thanks again, Shaka, for having uh, me here. Mm -hmm. On, uh, you know, I really wish to invite uh, David to look through the CVs, the resumes, the curriculum vitae of, of all the seven commissioners before he makes the conclusion he is making. As you can see, I'm streaming in from the United Nations offices where I spent many years working and many, many years working in various parts of the world on elections. <laughs> So if you look the, at the collective uh, experience that we have as commissioners, the seven of us, uh, there is enough there. But, but beyond looking at the commissioners, uh, the IBC is an institution. It is an institution that should stand beyond the seven commissioners. And we are proud of the work of our staff in the various constituencies. We have 290 staff in each constituency. We have uh, 47 staff in each of the counties who are doing an extremely important job, who have run elections in the country, who know what it is to run elections. What they needed is leadership and inspiration, and that is what the commissioners are providing under the leadership of, uh, of uh, Chairman uh, Wafula Chibukati. But in terms of experience, in terms of knowing what it is to run elections, I mean, you know, we Kenyans sometimes shortchange ourselves. We are one of the many African countries, and many other, other, other countries actually in general, pick the lessons, the good lessons of, 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 of how to manage elections from our country. But we don't give ourselves enough credit in terms of our ability to be able to manage uh, an institution like, uh, like the IBC. You know, but having said that, I mean, it, it is, uh, you know, we are seeing this rhetoric uh, continuing, uh, you know, now for the, for the next, uh, for the last few weeks. And, and, you know, having served in other countries, I, I know exactly what it is. You know, when you you know, this is a common trend where you'll see that political actors will at times beat, beat up the messenger, beat up uh, the, I, the election management body, mm. so that they can be able to show that uh, in the end, the, the whole, you know, it's to question the credibility uh, of the elections. It's to set themselves up, not to accept the results that will come out of it. That is absolutely normal. We have seen it in several countries. It's not acceptable. But it is, it is not a reflection of where, where the IEBC is. It's more a reflection of the political rhetoric in the country in which the political actors, both sides, uh, or maybe the eight candidates, presidential candidates that will have, will, will wish to do that so that in the end uh, they can be able to say we ran a good, uh, a good, uh, a good uh, campaign. It's just that uh, the arbiter did not uh, you know, moderate this well. If they had moderated well, we would have won this election. And it's a dangerous we, it's a, a dangerous rhetoric to keep moving, uh, pushing forward because it puts our country in a situation whereby people will not, they're setting themselves up not to accept results of the elections. And, and I, I don't think that is the best way to proceed. 